Do you think the United States as a global leader, as an empire, may collapse in this century? Why and how will it happen and how can we avoid it? The United States can certainly harm itself severely. That's what we're doing right now. Right now, the greatest threat to the United States is internal countries tearing itself apart. Uh, I mean, I really don't have to run through it with you. Take a look at something as elementary as mortality. The United States is the only country outside of war, life expectancy is declining, mortality is increasing. That doesn't happen anywhere. You take a look at health outcomes generally. They're among the worst among the developed societies. And health spending is about twice as high as the developed societies. You look at the charts, all of this starts around the late 1970s, early 80s. To that, if you go back to that point, the United States was pretty much a normal developed country in terms of mortality, uh, incarceration, uh, health expenses, other measures. Since then, the United States has fallen off the chart. It's gone way off the chart. Well, that's the neoliberal assault of the last 40 years. It's had a major effect on the United States. It's left a lot of anger, resentment, violence. Meanwhile, the Republican Party has simply drifted off the spectrum. It's not a normal political party in any usual sense, not what it used to be. Its uh, main policy is block anything in order to regain power. That's its policy, you know, stated almost openly by McConnell, followed religiously by the entire leader, the entire uh, uh, Congress. It's not a, that's not the acts of a political party. It's uh, so, it's, of course, democracy has declined. Uh, uh, the violence has increased. Uh, the judgments, the decisions of the Supreme Court, very. The court's the most reactionary court in memory. To go back to the 19th century, uh, decision after decision is an effort to create a country of uh, white supremacist Christian nationalists. I mean, scarcely hidden. If you read the opinions of Alito, uh, Thomas, uh, Gorsuch, and others, it's uh, so yes, we can destroy ourselves from within. And in fact, the ways we're doing it are almost astonishing. So it's well known, for example, everybody knows that U.S. infrastructure, the bridges, subways, and so on, is in terrible shape needs a lot of repair. The American Association of Engineers gives it a failing mark every year. All right, finally, Congress did pass a limited infrastructure bill, say, rebuild bridges and so on. It has to be called a China Competition Act. We can't rebuild our bridges because they're falling apart. We have to rebuild our bridges to beat China. It's pathological, and that's what's happening inside the country. Uh, take uh, Thomas's uh, decision in the recent case in which he invalidated a New York law. This is last October, a couple one couple weeks ago, invalidated a New York law going back to 1913 that required people to have some. Uh, justification if they wanted to carry concealed weapons in public. He withdrew that with a very interesting decision. He said the, the United States, he said, is such a decaying, collapsing, hateful society that people just have to have guns. I mean, how can you expect somebody to go to the grocery store uh, without a gun in a country as disgusting and 
hideous as this one. It's essentially what he said. Those weren't his words, but they were the import. 